the presentation illustrates the nerve supply of tongue and also explains the correlation of the nerve supply with the development of the tongue all the muscles of the tongue are supplied by hypoglossal nerve that is cranial nerve number 12 except palatoglossus muscle which is supplied by cranial accessory nerve via vagus nerve that is vago accessory complex or pharyngeal plexus of nerves if we see the sensory supply of the tongue in the anterior two third of the tongue lingual nerve which is a branch of posterior division of mandibular nerve carries general sensation whereas cauda tympani nerve which is a branch of facial nerve carries taste sensation from the anterior two third of the tongue the posterior one third of the tongue the glossopharyngeal nerve carries both general as well as taste sensation including the circumvallate papilla whereas the posterior most part of the tongue is supplied by the internal laryngeal branch of the superior laryngeal branch of vagus nerve now if we see the development of the tongue the tongue develops in relation to the pharyngeal arches in the floor of the developing mouth in this diagram we can see the first arch second arch third arch and the fourth arch the medial most parts of the first arch that is the mandibular arch proliferate and form two lingual swellings in between the two lingual swelling there is another midline swelling which is formed which is known as tuberculum impar immediately behind the tuberculum impar the epithelium proliferates to form a down growth which is known as thyroglossal duct from which the thyroid gland will develop the site of this down growth is subsequently marked by a depression which is known as foramen cecum another midline swelling is also formed in relation to the medial ends of the second third and fourth pharyngeal arches this swelling is known as hypobranchial eminence or copula this eminence is formed in relation with the second third and fourth arches subsequently this hypobranchial eminence gets subdivided into two parts cranial part and caudal part the cranial part of the hypobranchial eminence develop in relation with second and third arches whereas the caudal part of hypobranchial eminence develop in relation with the fourth arch all these structures contribute in the formation of the tongue the two lingual swellings and the tuberculum impar fuse and form the anterior two third of the tongue so the anterior two third of the tongue is mainly derived from the first arch the cranial part of the hypobranchial eminence contribute in the formation of the posterior one third of the tongue so posterior one third of the tongue develops from the cranial part of hypobranchial eminence so it is derived from the mesoderm of third arch in this situation we must know that the mesoderm of the second arch gets buried below the surface and the third arch mesoderm grows over it to fuse with the mesoderm of the first arch so the anterior two third of the tongue develops from the mesoderm of the first arch that is mandibular arch whereas posterior one third of the tongue develops from the mesoderm of the third arch the posterior most part of the tongue de is derived from the caudal part of the hypobranchial eminence so the posterior most part of tongue is derived from fourth arch so if we correlate this development of the tongue with its nerve supply now we know that the anterior two third of the tongue is derived from the first or mandibular arch posterior one third of the tongue is derived from the third arch and the posterior most part of the tongue is derived from the fourth arch so the nerve supply of the anterior two third of the tongue we know that lingual nerve which is a branch of mandibular nerve carries general sensation the mandibular nerve is the post traumatic nerve of the first arch the taste sensation from anterior two third of tongue is carried by cauda tympani nerve which is the pre traumatic nerve of the first arch 
so this explains the nerve supply of the anterior two third of tongue similarly posterior one third of the tongue is derived from the third arch and the nerve of the third arch is the glossopharyngeal nerve so that explains the nerve supply of posterior one third with its development whereas the posterior most part of the tongue develops from the fourth arch and the nerve of the fourth arch is the superior laryngeal nerve whose internal laryngeal branch supplies the posterior most part of the tongue in addition to the sensory supply all the muscles of the tongue as i just said are derived are supplied by the hypoglossal nerve now all the muscles of the tongue are derived from the cranial most somites which are known as the occipital myotomes the occipital myotomes give rise to the muscles of the tongue and this explains the nerve supply of the muscles of the tongue by hypoglossal nerve which is the nerve of these myotomes whereas palatoglossus muscle is supplied by vago accessory complex which also supplies all the other muscles of the soft palate and all the muscles of the soft palate are derived from the fourth pharyngeal arch so the palatoglossus is not supplied by hypoglossal nerve but it is supplied by the nerve of the fourth pharyngeal arch that is the superior laryngeal branch of the vagus